And I'm back, folks, with a death bell prediction. Um, I, obviously, I didn't get to the death bell or the what if yesterday. I'm doing those today. Luckily, the schedule, I, my schedule's changed surprisingly for the better at work. So I actually have more time now in the day to get something, uh, get uh, videos done. But anyway, the death bell, Aquaman vs. Namor, happened yesterday. And I did call it. Granted, I th they didn't go over a couple of abilities of Aquaman I thought he had. But ultimately, you know, uh, who I thought would win would won the fight. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, that's all right. So for the season, I'm one and one. Let's see if I can go two and two here with the Mega Man Battle Royale. Now, this was one that when they announced it, I realized very quickly, like, I don't know. I know very little about I actually didn't play Mega Man. I know of Mega Man. I played some minor uh, bits here and there, like some of the other system versions of Mega Man, but I've never actually played Mega Man. I watched a little bit of the cartoons, a couple of different versions, but I'm like, I don't know what you steal about Mega Man. Crap! So I literally just got all the Mega Man that, or Mega Men, that I'm pretty certain are going to be in the fight. I'm assuming... Uh, so, and I'm pretty sure there are other versions of him, too, but I think these are the core fiber get we got. There's the classic version, who has actually already been in a death battle, versus Astro Boy. Uh, there is Mega Man X, Mega Man Volnet, uh, Mega Man e EXE, or X, and then Star Force Mega Man. Now, right off the bat, I'm not really gonna go into, I'll go into some of the abilities I can tell from each individual here, but I'm basically just gonna go... Do I think this one's going to be the one that wins or not? Uh, first off, classic Mega Man. He's the classic one. Absolutely, he'll. He's you know the one the progenitor of all these guys. But he's also let's let's not mince words. I'm pretty certain he is the oh god, freaking ads. Uh, come on, go away, ad. Go get off get off of my screen. Whatever. Anyway, uh, he's pretty much the weakest version because other versions of Mega Man have come along that are just. Uh, better versions, like particularly the Mega Man X version, which is even said to be says a sophisticated technology and behavioral adaptation based on the latest last design of Dr. Light, uh, Dr. K, and the scientists found him. Um, one second here. Uh, they basically describe him as a more mature and advanced successor of the original Mega Man. Right off the bat, that takes classic Mega Man out of the equation for me. Uh, so he, he's... All these, all the Mega Man are not going to win. I think based on like their power or anything like that, they're going to be winning, winning on other things. Now, Mega Man X, from what I can tell, does have multiple forms. Like Mega Man X, um, X Five, is a form where he gains, seems to gain. Looks like he's gained um, combination of armor. It looks like a plane is attached to him. Uh, there's also Mega Man X uh, during Giga City mission where he has a different armor entirely. So. Mega Man X has had many different forms, which gives them an advantage over some of the other Mega Man. They have Mega Man Volnut, who I can tell you right now is going to probably lose this fight, because unlike the other Mega Man, this Mega Man, uh, first off, he can actually take his helmet off, which is something I don't see Mega Man do very often. But his speed and strength are on par with a healthy, they even say, are his default speed and strength, anyway, are on par with a healthy athletic human, and his strength is proportional to his size which automatically puts him on a weaker front than the other Mega Man. All the other Mega Man are physically more enhanced than he is. His shield system, while powerful, is also limited. Uh, body equipments, they all have body equipments and weapons. That's Unless some one of them has a specific weapon I'm not familiar with, it's not going to be anything uh, that's going to matter severely. Uh, so Volt uh, right now is also going to lose. I'd say he had a, I'd say he's probably even a, has a worse chance of winning than Classic does because unlike Classic, he's just a pretty much physically enhanced, physically fit guy, whereas uh, Classic is at least physically enhanced. Then you have Mega Man E or Mega Man EXE and Mega Man Star or Star Force Mega Man. Technically speaking, from what I can tell, Star Force Mega Man is a just slightly different variation of EXE, yeah. Um, well, no, he is slightly different. Uh, but I think in one version he is a, uh, he's like an upgraded version of EXE. Uh, at the same time, though, it, it's, 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 it's give and take. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
Star Forces, uh, again, they all have the Mega Buster. Starbreak can borrow the power of three satellite admins in order to power himself up. Wave Change, in both versions, uh, he can EMP Wave Charge any... Uh, he can EMP wave charge anything he wants uh, because of the uh, supposed very advanced technology. If he actually has a built-in EMP, uh, oh, no, he doesn't. Uh, so EM wave, sorry, electric magnetic wave, uh, not an actual EMP. Um, uh, but uh, Trilon on, okay, interesting game exclusivity shield mega attack, anti hypnosis. He's immune to hypnosis, but not that that's gonna matter much. Not much to say here. Then you have Mega Man EX EXE, which I didn't finish watching the series, but that one I actually remember watching a lot of. That that was on ooh early two thousands, I want to say. They they actually have a. I can scroll back when I see EXE is one that has a lot of upgrades to him, and he's one that only exists in cyberspace. So you take the abilities existing in cyberspace. And you take um, <clears throat> and you put them into the real world. You immediately have someone who's very possibly much stronger or faster or tougher than any of the other ones, because essentially they exist in a way that it's um, uh, that they are uh, they're they're game characters in many ways. Uh, so it, it, they, this one also has a lot more abilities than some of the other ones. Dark Power, Mega Bus. Dark Power allows him to use dark chips without becoming evil, which uh, he can uh, and can even merge him with the Double Soul, which Double Soul uh, is known as Soul Unison by resonating with another Navi Soul. It can gain the abilities of the Navi along with additional powers. Essentially, it's Mega Man's copying ability in the cyber uh, world. Uh, so, and then he also uh, beast out, which apparently in the games there's different beasts, kind of like his. Um, oh God, wasn't name Goddard? Wasn't that Goddard? That's uh, R Rusty was that the name of the original? I I honestly can't remember its name. Um, point being, if I'm if I'm gonna give my two cents and who I, which is what this video is for, under which Mega Man I think is going to win, the problem with the battle, this is really gonna put my uh, perfect record to the test early in the season. You're gonna give me a freaking battle royale with characters I'm not even widely familiar with. <laughs> Son of a bitch, damn you, Death Battle. Um. I'm going to go Mega Man EXE. But this is all assuming, by the way, that these are the Mega Man that are going to be in here. There might be other versions of Mega Man. There probably are other versions of Mega Man that I'm not familiar with. From what I can tell in the thumbnail for the death battle, that is... And I'm pretty sure the thumbnail I used is a corresponding thumbnail. Um, there, Those are the Mega Man that are showing up. So if the Mega Man that I have gone over that I believe are going to show up, I think EXE stands the best chance of winning. I could be dead wrong on this. For all I know, Classic's gonna win, and Classic, from what I from what I can tell, is at least weaker than X. So, who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win? Star Wars, Super Mario Magic, What If? Anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to that at some point. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for watching, and I will be back actually with What If in just a little bit. Later.